Nobody wants to get busted for a DUI. You can't fake your way through the field sobriety test. But what about the breathalyzer? Some people think they can fool you. Is it true? Can you beat a breathalyzer? You can beat a breathalyzer by having protein in your glove compartment. Peanuts, cashews, nuts, almonds. You can neutralize your breath with, you know, celery. Mustard packets in your car. And drink hot sauce right before you take Guys have been thinking up ways to beat the breathalyzer since it was invented in 1954. Can you give me a breath into this for me, please? Huh. One dude in Canada even tried eating his own crap to throw the test off. It didn't work, but at least his breath kept the other prisoners away. Any moron knows that you don't eat crap, but does anything else work? We wanted to find out. We recruited a guy to drink five beers in half an hour. Tough job. While he's pounding the brewskis, check this out. According to the California Highway Patrol, 50% of Americans will be involved in an alcohol-related traffic collision in his or her lifetime. 1.4 million Americans are arrested for DUI every year. That's one arrest for every 137 licensed drivers in the U.S. He's ready. So Officer Joe Zizi of the California Highway Patrol tests his blood alcohol level. 0 .09. 0 0.08 is the legal limit in the state of California. You're already over the limit to drive a motor vehicle. If he had been caught while driving, he'd be screwed. The minimum fine right now in California for driving under the influence is approximately $12,000. 12 grand? Holy crap! Can that breathalyzer be beaten? A lot of guys think that coppered pennies can fool it. So we gave this guy some pennies to suck. Let's see how he does. Okay, after five minutes of sucking on pennies, let's see if he can drive home. Crap! He still measures a .091, so sucking on pennies won't beat the breathalyzer. Besides, since 1983, pennies have been made from 97.5% zinc. Dumbass! Test 2, a battery. Some people say holding a double A to your tongue zaps the breathalyzer. Does it work? After five minutes of macking on a battery, this guy's blood alcohol content keeps going and going. He's still legally drunk. Test 3, gum. 50% of the people that I've stopped for a suspected DUI have wanted to chew gum. While he's working that gum, get this. Some guys keep mouthwash in their glove compartment, thinking minty fresh breath will screw up the breathalyzer. But some brands contain 27% alcohol, and that could quadruple your reading. Bummer. Okay, so, will a few sticks of gum wipe out the booze breath? Zero nine zero. No luck. This guy's blood alcohol content still hasn't changed. That's because the breath test measures the air in his lungs, not his mouth. And the air in his lungs is constantly absorbing alcohol from his blood. That's why cops test it in the first place. Final score, breathalyzer three, drunk dude zero. And thanks, man. You know, those pennies really worked out well. So, can you beat a breathalyzer? There is no way to outsmart a breathalyzer. Burr. Sorry, dude. Save that spare change. If you get caught driving drunk, you'll need every penny you got. For fail.